Welcome to the Word of Faith coming to you from PBC Northgate. We are thankful to God to be finally in our own space. We want to share about vision. This is the year of God's royal inheritance. I'm reading Genesis 15, verse 4 to 6. The word of the Lord came to Abraham and said, This man will not be your heir, but a son coming from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the heavens, count the stars. If indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Abraham believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. Abraham believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as uh, righteousness. I want to ask you, how far do you see? Do you use your physical eyes, or do you also engage the spirit uh, eye? Abraham was tired waiting on God and wondering if God will really come through for him regarding his own son, his own family. And so he had already determined in his will that his servant Elias of Damascus would be the one that would inherit him. But then God came and told him, I want to do something with you. Come outside with me. It was a starry night in the desert. Came out of the tent and then looked up to the heavens. And when you do on a dark starry night, there are so many stars, it is humanly impossible to count them. So Abraham looked up and then God told him, count the stars if you can, because your descendants will be as numerous as the stars. It's just like to say, you'll have countless resources. You'll have countless ability. You'll have countless blessings. That's what uh, God told Abraham. And this thing changed Abraham's mindset. There is a word that you receive in your spirit. It changes who you are and what you think. We call it a royal vision, seeing with the eyes of God. The Bible speaking to us in Hebrews chapter 11, he said that faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You don't have it, but in your mind and in your heart you have it. Dr. Paul Yongisho of Korea, he said he's pregnant with a bicycle. Mountain bicycle is what he had prayed for. So in his eyes of faith, he received it. It was incubating in his system, waiting for gestation period to manifest. So we are also asking you in this early time of 2022, have a person mind that you are looking for a city whose maker and builder is Christ. Engage royal vision. See what God is seeing for you. Come outside, remove the limits, and see God. The Bible says Abraham believed it and it was credited to him as righteousness. It's my prayer. You will believe God and it will be credited to you as righteousness. Galatians 3, 7, those who believe as Abraham believed are the children of Abraham. They are the spiritual children of Abraham. And uh, these ones, they inherit the things of God. They are royalty. We want to call you this year a royal a priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. So thank you for tuning in. Remember, change your view to God's view. Attain royal vision. Believe God. It will be credited to you as righteousness. Father, we thank you for the example of Abraham who believed just by looking outside and counting the stars outside. Help us to see beyond our limitations, beyond the things men tell us, to see God, to hear God, to believe God, and let it be credited to us as righteousness. Thank you for tuning in. God mightily bless you. Amen. <laughs>